back at Dwayne and Nadia Food Travel Fun. I'm Dwayne, and got a special treat uh, with our recent travel up through Maine and uh, our different visits to different locations. We decided to do a nice little lobster salad sandwich of our own. So I have my friend here. Got myself a nice healthy lobster. He's really nice. And this came from uh, a local place, Blount, that we've been to and love. And uh, he's a nice, happy, healthy, he's very lively. Gotta love him. I'm gonna cook him up. We're gonna do, um, well, I'm gonna be making, I'm gonna make a the cold with mayonnaise, like the cold version. So I'm just gonna cook him up now. I'll probably chill a little bit of time where I'm cleaning. I'll do that in warp speed, just a little bit of cleaning. Because what really matters is we're looking to see, bring the sandwich together. So, but Nidia and I will both compare, and we loved, on our trip, we loved Galen's here in Bar Harbor. So, we're going to see how well we can compete with some real pros. So, I will see you guys soon. Come on back and see how it goes. So, to help those of you who um, don't do, having cooked the lobster and whatnot, uh, there's lots of ways. I'm going to do it pretty simply. I'm only gonna use three ingredients. And there's an optional fourth ingredient, which this is the standby, right there. Old Bay seasoning, that is your standby. You can get by with a bit of that and maybe a touch of salt and you're done, you can go. I did already turn the flame on, no biggie, but I, I like to use like a coarse salt and I've got enough water in here to cover the lobster. And I'm basically gonna add salt to it when it tastes very similar to seawater. Let me uh, mix that up a bit. It takes a second to dissolve this coarse salt. It's like kosher salt that we use, so. Well, uh, let's see. Now it's a little light. Yeah, so I added, you know, there's a gallon or so of liquid in this pot. Pick a nice pot that your lobster will fit right into if you have a couple lobsters, because we are doing boiled and not steamed or baked, of course. So. Something, it's filled up about halfway. Make sure it covers your lobster when you go in and you're gonna cook them until he turns red. So, let's try this salt again. Okay, good level of salt. Uh, maybe use crushed red pepper, any type of red pepper flakes works. You don't have to have the red pepper, but I like this, the nice little bit of uh, spice it adds to it and some garlic powder. Yeah, and since we like a nice garlic flavor, I'm definitely adding about a teaspoon. Mix that up. Put that over there. But yeah, uh, nice garlic powder. That was really it. It's on a high flame. I'm waiting for it to come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, I'll bring our lobster, put them in. Bring it back to a boil, and when he turns red, which should only take a few minutes, he's done. And it's a bright red, not just like, so there shouldn't really be any dark areas, it should be nice and bright. So I will uh, bring it back and show you how he looks when he's cooked. Okay, so it's been uh, seven or eight minutes, but I wanted you to see the color that you're really shooting for. I take it out. Get a good grip on it. <laughs> Better than that. <laughs> Those claws can be heavy, and these were. There we go. Let me get away from the steam. I'm sure that's what you're really seeing a lot of. So there you go. That's the color you want to see. Nice red 
everywhere, claws. That's what we're looking for. There you go. Well, it's not too bright on there, but let's see. Nice, bright red. There we go, she's very, that's it, that's beautiful. Do about five, seven minutes. Uh, came back to a boil in a few minutes. When she reached that redness, there was this time to stop it. So, there it is. Very good. It's time to finish the prep and try out the lobster. So here we have it, nice, our cleaned up lobster, ready to go. I'll just chop that up. I'm gonna use some celery, a little bit of scallions, green onion. I actually like a little bit of the celery leaves. I go, it's pretty simple. Mayonnaise, because this is the cold lobster roll. Loves the salad. If uh, it were hot, they use melted butter. Uh, some black pepper, some garlic, some parsley, and salt to taste. So, just gonna get it all prepped, get it in the bowl, mix it up, and show you how she looks when it's done. So now all of the vegetables are added. The celery, the celery leaves, and the scallions. So you see, it's not so much that you overtake the amount of lobster that you have. It's really, I mean, it, this might even be a little heavy, but I think I've got a nice amount of lobster, so I'm going to stick with it. The lobster is just going to get nicely chopped into bite-sized pieces, any big pieces will get cut down. It's still very juicy. You don't want it chopped too small, you want to have nice chunks of lobster. So this is like a half a tail, which I'll split in half again, and give nice little chunks. Do that to the other side, and then that's it. You don't really, you know, you want a nice size bite with a nice bit of uh, chew to it. Like the, when it's chopped too small, it really loses that. The texture is just becomes not nearly what you'd like. So a lot of people, a lot of uh, restaurants leave very big chunks for the visual. And I honestly think that's the primary reason they do it. I will still have good visual pieces here, nice size, but there won't be, and what's left is already small pieces. That's from the body part of it but this is a nice amount of meat and just so i can kind of judge it even better i'm going to almost do a backwards aspect of this some of these i'll chop down a bit that chunk nice knuckle there and this actually was knuckles and i had the the legs the crop feeler legs they were big enough that i actually got the meat out of them Let's see how this looks. I'm going to do this right like this. Just so I can really judge if I like the amount or if I don't think it's, a, if I think it's too much. You know. There you go. You know what? I think I, that's a very good guesstimate. And we're going to go with it. Up, time to mix it up.
garlic. I'm just going to, didn't put a lot, quarter teaspoon, small amount, parsley because I really love it. Light amount and a little bit of pepper. Light amount. And just gonna start with just a small amount of salt. And get this all coming together. Very, very nice. I like that. Let's, uh, give me a sec and add, so I can add the mayonnaise. Okay, so for this recipe, I think that's probably a nice heaping tablespoon of mayonnaise for the amount of, that I have here. Work with it gently, not breaking things up, although it should hold together pretty well. I'm going to pick up the face a bit now that it's starting to blend and mix. It really want to keep the lobster in the forefront. Everything else is kind of bringing it all together the, with the seasonings, the flavors, just very nice, very nice. So I think I judged a very good amount. Any more would have definitely been too heavy. So before I actually plate this, well actually not plate, but I'm sorry about the scratching. Before I actually put this into my roll, which we got some nice fresh rolls today. And I sliced it open and I'm gonna put it in the fridge for a few to let it cool, Ch well, chill a bit, you know. And my little piece of lobster come off there, there we go. And once it's nice and chilled again, I'll have Nidia come back with me and we will give it a try for you. So, it, plus that'll give, the flavors a chance to kind of work into each other and you know everything will just kind of there we go you know you bring it all together give it a little time and we will serve it up <laughs> it's done <laughs> it's done all right here you go there she is the queen lobster roll i'm reluctantly gonna share Okay. But, no, I'm looking forward. Oh, I will do the honors. I will show you my part. Nice amount in there. Wow, it's totally stuffed to the bottom. It's a lot of lobster. There's a lot in there. And this is not a grilled hot dog roll. It's not warmed like it would in a restaurant, but it's a fresh roll. It's a fresh roll. I actually softened it even further for a few seconds in the microwave. Mm -hmm. And I took a little out of the inside so I could fit more lobster. It's got lobster start to finish. Oh yeah. So, no. Well. All right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> First say, um, the meat is really sweet. The celery is nice and crunchy. It doesn't have a lot of mayo, which is good. It looks like more because of the smaller chunks, as opposed, you know, like the big chunks that like I was talking earlier that they use. It tends to, and a lot of times I've had other fillers like lettuce. Yeah, I think I. <laughs> I think so, I'm missing the crunch of the lettuce, but you have a lot of celery in here, so it's good. I, dice, the meat is absolutely as good, if not better, than any I've ever had in a restaurant because it's it's not chewy to the point where it's getting in between my teeth like lobster can. It's really cut in a smaller piece, and you can chew it. It's creamy, but yeah. it's the lobster meat that's the star here. Well, that's 
the idea. I'm trying to keep it lobster forward. It's lobster forward. It's very good. Mm. And the wait was nice. We ended up waiting, I think it was two, it was about two hours. That it sat, it chilled, the flavors married, and I, uh, I like it. I love it. <laughs> Thanks for the lobster, hon. <laughs> we got a video, and I got a lobster yeah. roll, and it's not even yeah. summer. Um, awesome. So thank you so much for watching. All right. I'm busy chilling. Okay, well, thank you for watching. <laughs> and um, this is our lobster roll. We've shown you <laughs> so many videos yeah. of uh, both of us eating lobster everywhere. So now you get to see us eating it at home. And you know what? Well, home is where the heart is, and this lobster is amazing. Our favorite was Galen's. Mm -hmm. And I think if I make this a couple more times, I think I, I'd like ours better. I the, like the nice small chunks because it really puts lobster everywhere. The small chunks are great. The texture is great. Um, Galen's had better, delicious, homemade, bakery, brioche, buttery, delicious. Oh. This is Stop and Shop, which is okay, but it's, it's not fresh. Yes, yeah. it's just nice and fresh. But so. it's not the buttery so, brioche. But you know what? I'm, I'm it's happy the where it is. It's very nice. But I'm not going to discredit what Galen's has done. I think they've uh, been practicing it more frequently for a while, but I also feel like... The taste of the lobster here is well, better. Galen's... I happen to love the taste of this lobster. Just the way it came out, with the way it was seasoned and boiled, I was very pleased. Uh, but anyways, yeah, no, no, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna give them their due. And next time around, I, I might even give them a run for their money. All we have to do is go to a bakery and get better bread. Um, or grill this one with butter on the outside. Whatever, something. But, but the meat and the lobster, which is what you're really paying for, this is just a vessel for it, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Thank uh, you. Thank you. And thank you. Thanks. So, Point in Idiot's Kitchen. Till next time. If you have it, subscribe. Hit, ring the bell. Tell your friends. And we'll see you around. Catch you next time. Thank you.